Let me start by giving a short introduction what we do now, at the moment. At the moment we are doing one thing that is routine, that is we are giving modest power for a modest duration. What does that mean? We're giving 30 watts of energy in radio frequency ablations for around 30 seconds. And we are using some kind of uh, predictive algorithms like an index, ablation index, lesion size index, to kind of combine the main players for the ablation, which is power, contact force, duration. What is increasingly being done at the moment is, and this is caused by some studies, preliminary studies, that a lot of my colleagues now go over to higher power. I would call it high power, short duration. This is 50 watts <clears throat> for 10 seconds. Because it goes faster, and it's been shown that the lesions do not get deeper by that. So they stay in the depth or even get more shallow. And it gets faster, so procedure times go down. And a lot of, of uh, colleagues do this. Not too many studies out there, but they do it. And what now the new thing is, is very high power for very short duration, which means 90 watts for four seconds. However, this needs a certain equipment. You need an ablation catheter with thermistors. And it, it's kind of a, a com, coming back to temperature guided ablation, which we left for the last years, 10 years, even more. So that's the new thing. It's very high power for very short duration. Of course, also with, with a consequence that the procedure duration goes down. Well, the benefits on the one side are, as far as we know from animal studies, is that the lesions get wider and the lesions don't have this kind of endocardial sparing, which sometimes occurs, and the lesions do not get deeper. They get even shallower, as I told you, which means that this is especially a good thing for the atrium. It's more or less designed for atrial ablations, for pulmonary vein isolations. So it's, it's more tissue specific. It gives credit to the tissue depth of the atrium, which is around two to four millimeters, not more. This is the one thing. So it's more, it's more adaptive to, to the atrial tissue. And then the other thing, of course, on a daily routine practice is that it goes fast. We've done some, some first in man ablations and we had procedure times a bit over one hour, which for radio frequency ablation in PBI is quite short, very short. 